I have been writing, like, as I realized, I've done all these projects, and I do write. So I have this, like, list of all these projects, and I write these stories, but I write them from a very uh, poetic, or, you know, they're not, um, they're just really my experience. So I'll read you a couple of snippets. So this one I call, this mural I call Sacrifice. The day I arrived in L.A. to start the job, I came down with a fever. It lasted a day and a half. The competition had lasted a few months. The finalists were sent home to do a new version of the proposal, which was good, because that night when I got home, I found a small book of poems by Octavio Paz, and I opened it to the page of the poem I painted on the sunstone, sunstone centerpiece, which read, my steps along this street resound in another street, where I can hear my steps passing along this street, in which only the mist is real. Well, this is uh, Calle de la Eternidad that I painted in 1992, if I remember correctly, you know, <laughs> our memories fade. No, it was 1992. And um, it is a mural that was on Broadway mm -hmm. at 4th in downtown Los Angeles. And um, the idea behind it was really to talk about time and place. You know, whenever I approach a, a mural, a, a design, I look at the site and I let the site speak to me uh, in many different ways. It, it speaks to me socially, it speaks to me physically. And when I saw the wall, it's just like the motion of it going, reaching towards the sky. You know, I was like, this wall is like art, it's just like reaching up into the sky. I went to look for um, symbols. I work a lot with symbols and try to reimagine them. So I went and looked at a lot of pre-Columbian symbols to represent the history and the ancestry of people in this uh, area in California, in this part of the world, the connection to the land. And um, so I found these uh, pictures of these hands that were used ceremonially. They're, they're gold work, you know, so I thought, oh, this is like perfect. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, a, it's, a, it's intense, you know, to go back into all the detail I'm working on. I've done, I wanted to first get the reds back in so that I can, I'm propelled by color. Color is so important uh, to me in uh, any piece that I do. And this mural was always the red and, you know, gold and, and, and stone and granite mural. Turquoise for water and earth. And, so they, they have some symbolic meaning for me, so I like to get that balance. Because you have to keep going back and forth, like getting up really close and pulling back, just like when you paint a mural, but in this case you're just working on the, the screen. Mm -hmm. Is it different than yeah. painting the original mural? Yeah. You're sitting in a chair all day long. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, um, this uh, is both great, because I think I was 35 when I painted this mural, and as I mentioned earlier, it was really physically very demanding really hot out and you know I'd like to think that I could still do it in that kind of physical way but I'm glad that I'm here doing it this way. Uh, on the other hand um, it's not easy to sit all day long and be at this level of concentration. I often think of the way the body is involved in, in my work and um, so this is a completely different, f different physical experience. At the same time the technology is its own thing so in a way I can enhance it in ways that are new. So I'm really enjoying doing that, you know, the way that it can be more vivid in a certain way. And I'm really looking forward to seeing it when it's printed out and what, what you know, what that feels like. I've had, I've made many, many works of art in public space and I've lost a number of them and I've restored a number of them. And I'm just seriously happy that this mural is going to have, uh, continue to have a life on Broadway. I also feel grateful for organizations like Spark, or Spark, because there's not that many, or, you know, it's very difficult to, to find an organization that really cares to preserve this kind of history. You know, I did this in 1992, I actually did three murals uh, through, uh, in, with Spark. Each of them a wonderful, unique experience. This was the first one. It's just been delightful to be working with the new group of people that I've met here and be working in the digital lab and see all the comings and goings and all the projects that are happening and all the technology and the way the organization has grown and 
having worked on public art uh, projects with a you know a lot of different organizations, this is an incredibly powerful organization, um, and its contribution to the mural movement and to muralism to LA are you know you, you can't even measure it. It's so it's so great. So I'm just like I'm glad I'm happy. Masayato. <laughs>